I'm gonna try to not be negative today. Oh my God, there's so much um to do. Ooh. <sighs> Good morning everyone. My name is Kelly and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are going to do a day in the life vlog. I'm here. I am at school already. Um, it's probably around eight o'clock. Honestly, I haven't checked the time. It's a little after. Um, and yeah, so uh, if you are new here, hi, my name is Kelly. Uh, I am a high school English teacher in Texas. And right now I am currently teaching three things. I am teaching English 3, English 4, and English 1301, which is a dual credit class um, for the program that I teach for. So with that being said, I can't wait for you guys to join me today as we hopefully have a good day. I am going to get you have you guys hang out with me and share some of my thoughts as I get ready for today um I pretty much know what I'm doing today so it's not like anything super challenging but I wanted to have you guys join me as I do this and kind of talk some things through because it's been a wild few weeks for me um, as a teacher and just been thinking more and more about teaching and how I feel about it and where I feel the state of education is going, which is hint, hint, not good. And yeah, I, um, last week was a rough week, um, now, there are likely a few factors that go into that. So, first of all, I it's October. And for those of you who are teachers know, we will often call this Shocktober. So, Shocktober is here. Shocktober is in full swing. And and it's just a lot. Um I just I don't know I was really like it was a lot just last week <laughs> so hard to get my thoughts together thought I would be more articulate after having four days off so um my district one of the things that we do is most months except for the months where we have like long breaks so basically November December, March, and I think January. Um, we don't have 40 weekends, but every other month, like every month beyond those, we have a 40 weekend. And which is nice. Um, I do wish that ours in my district was maybe a little earlier in October um, because getting to this part of October was hard. It's hard right now. I don't want to say I'm burnt out because I feel like that is a a term that you use when you like want to leave and never come back to a place. But I'm just at this point of just frustration. Um, we have some very overbearing administration who treats the teachers, who treats the students horribly. And then when we bring it up, because as a staff, we are really good about bringing these things up. The administration is just like, I'm not yelling at you or the kids. I'm like, mm, but you are. Um, our, for instance, our administration will yell at the kids and then we'll say things like, well, don't piss me off. Well, ma'am, like, you're an adult? You shouldn't be speaking like that to teenagers, you know? 
So it's just, it's one of those things where it's, it's a lot. I'm just really frustrated. Thursday ended on a really bad note um, for me because I teach credit recovering. So one of the administrators came in and was, they were yelling at my students now, like, you need to finish your credit recovery right away. And you need to do this. And this is ridiculous. And yelling at students. And it was just, it was so much. So <sighs> I'm hoping this week will be better. It's only a 40 week. Next week I have 40 week. So I'm hoping that I am able to have a better week and it like changes my opinions. Um, so here's an example. I am a department chair and for our department chair meetings, we had voted on doing them. Tuesday, or sorry, Thursdays after school. Now we get an email, or we get an invite, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Wednesdays. Like, <laughs> it's just these things, and I don't want to bring it up. I don't want to be like... You're the one. Uh, uh, it's just these things are just so... frustrating. Anyway, I'm gonna try to not be negative. I'm gonna try to figure this out. You So, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and every other Friday, i.e. my B days, are just really weird days for me because I have my advisory, so that's like work time for me and the students. Then it's my conference period. Then I have a class. Then I start teaching. So I don't actually start teaching until like 12.05, which is nice. It just is weird it makes the days go by longer honestly my a days like i start by teaching so i have class i have class i have class i have lunch i have my conference period and i t have my last class of the day so my a days go by really quick but my b days not so much so um just working on finalizing this um like intro set for um my senior class, we are doing, uh, so we're about to read The Crucible. Today, I have my last groups presenting for um, their web quest. So I have four groups that need to present today. So we'll do that and then we'll move forward with whatever it is, or well, not whatever it is. I know what we're doing. We're gonna move forward. We're gonna start by reading. This is gonna be such a weird thing to read. Uh, sinners in the hands of an angry god so that'll be interesting because I want them to get kind of a feel for like yeah I had students talking about um, the Puritans and, and their beliefs and things like that but I, I don't think they really kind of understand exactly how the Puritans exactly what they believed and that's such a key part in understanding the crucible so um, we're going to read Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God today. I'm going to read it out loud to them. And it's interesting because when I was doing research on this, um, I found out that when Jonathan Edwards gave this sermon, be even though it's so fire and brimstone, he gave it in a really calm, collected manner. So that's how I want, I want to try to read it to them. And I want to try to read it to them in that manner. So. We will see how that goes. So I'm finishing my last few slides on just the background of it, of that. And then with my juniors, because we were talking about um, gender, we are going to read today The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins 
Gilman. I'm always horrible with names. Um, but we're gonna read the yellow wallpaper today. So I have this and I just need to read through it real quick, refresh my memory, and then um, go from there, which will be interesting to read. And then I think I have something to go with it, although I could be making that up. Oh, I do. Yeah, we're gonna do this, which actually I really should get everything out and situated for today. Um, we are going to do this active reading chart. So basically, as we're going through, um, the students are going to talk about how the, the narrator describes, and then it's a list of things. So like her room, the wallpaper, her illness, her husband, her other caretakers and or family, herself, her journal, and other observations of like things she describes that they see. Um, they're gonna give me text evidence and then they're going to tell me like any possible symbolic interpretation. So like, why might it be important that she's describing her room in this manner? Why might it be important that she is describing the wallpaper in this manner? Um, so it could be symbols, oddities in the description. So if she describes something really weird, you can talk about why that might be weird, how that ties into the representation of women. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I have my work for my juniors. I have my, somewhere I have my work for my seniors. I don't know where I put it though, but I have my work for my seniors. Somewhere, but I don't know where it went. That's not gonna do me much good now, is it? Thank goodness I found it. It was in an area where I don't know why I would have put it there in the first place, but it was there, so it's fine. Rock. And this is where I put out all of my stuff to make my life easy. So I have my senior stuff right here. I have my junior stuff laid out. <sighs> I just need to make my life as easy as possible. absolutely fitting my outfit today so let me show you what I have on I have this cute little dress from Torrid that I bought this weekend that was on sale and I'm loving it it's giving very much fall vibes I also have on these boots which I never have the boots but they were a good price and I need more brown shoes, brown nudes, those kinds of colors. So I bought these shoes as well um, so that I have them when I do need them. So especially because today's a day where I don't do a ton of walking, I figured this would be 
a good thing to wear. And then I have on, in terms of jewelry, I almost always wear this. I bought this when I went to Ireland back in 2016, 2017. And then, oh, I thought I had my German earrings on. I don't, I just have plain silver hoops on. So that is my outfit for the day. everyone it is 5 16 my contract time officially ends at 5 15 so i am getting ready to head out of here today was a pretty easy day i mean like you saw we just um okay it's gonna stop we just finished presentations on the salem witch trials uh, well, slash the time period. Then we started to read Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God. Then, what else did we do? Oh, and then my juniors, we just, um, why am I blinking? It's because I'm tired. Uh, and then my juniors, we started reading the yellow wallpaper, which does take a little bit of time to get through because I want to make sure my students understand all of the nuances of that text. For instance, like, I mean, I, they wouldn't have called it that back then, but like, for instance, um, the, the narrator having postpartum depression, right? And like, all of that. So it, like, those are things that I always like to talk about with the students. Um, Plus, it's always interesting to see, like, who knows, who doesn't know things such as postpartum depression. Some students had no idea what that was, so we had to have that conversation of, okay, this is postpartum depression, this is what it is. Here's a very, very vague in general, like, an idea of, like, how it happens. Again, I'm an English teacher, so, um, you know, there is, like, no, <laughs> there's no, like, super scientific explanation of postpartum depression but um you know we we have those conversations we talked about how the husband is gaslighting her we talked about all of these things and so it was a really good conversation to have um you know and like one of this one of my students was like yeah you know like she doesn't she doesn't really have the option to speak up and like tell her husband too much like no I don't want to do this because like domestic violence was really common during that time period so we get to have these really good oh, conversations sorry I'm just a pain in the butt turning out of here so anyway um so we get to have these really good conversations which I very much like to have with my students especially because they are this particular group they're juniors then obviously I have seniors so we get to have some more of these really adult conversations that we wouldn't necessarily get to have. So I really enjoyed having those conversations with them. Then my last period of the day was my credit recovery class. So I just kind of got to, I did a little bit of prep for the next day. I, you know, there were a handful of things that I just kind of did. So anyway, ooh, what is going on down here? They have the road closed off. That is not good. I'll have to check the 
a police scanner to see kind of what is going on. Because I'm just nosy. Um, but see, there's a card on there, so I don't know. But anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just one of those things where, you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I like to have those conversations with my students. I like to help them get to those conclusions, obviously to help teach them new things. So overall, I would say today was a pretty successful day. Um, I was able to plan a little bit for tomorrow. Um, my slides aren't done, but that's okay. Um, well, my slides for my 1301 class are not done, but that's okay. And yeah, I mean, other than that, like, I'm pretty ready to go. Like, I know what I'm talking about with my classes tomorrow, so not too worried about that. And then my slides for my English 4 class are already done because I did that same lesson today. So there are certain things that are um, already ready to go, and it makes my day and my life so much easier. And yeah, so anyway. I am going to head home. I have no idea what is going on, but there's like something going on because they're kicking me around this area. So we shall see. Um, and because I really want to get home, I do have to get a prescription. So I've uh, everything is backed up. I do have to get a prescription. So I have to get that. Then I'm going to go home. Then I'm going to prep dinner. I'm going to have dinner. I'm going to have dinner, um, I'm going to do some studying, which I may or may not talk about on this vlog, I don't know, um, and we'll just kind of go from there, I need to like fold laundry and things like that, but I've been hooked on this trial, now that I'm stopped, I guess I'll talk a little bit more, or basically I'm at a crawl, um, I've been hooked on this trial, it is the Maya Kowalski versus Johns Hopkins, or I think it's just the Kowalski family, versus Johns Hopkins. So if you haven't seen the documentary on Netflix, Take Care of Maya, this is the trial that is based off of that. And if you haven't seen it, I thought it was really good. I thought it was a very interesting point of view. Um, but I've been hooked on the trial. So, and I've been watching like nightly recaps from some of the lawyers on YouTube. So I will likely fold laundry while I watch that because I'm multitasking. So, okay, I'm going to head out of here and I will see you guys probably when I get home. Hey everyone, so I am home. Uh, I have a few things drying in the dryer right now. Um, I am watching the Maya Kowalski or the Kowalski v. Johns Hopkins trial. So, that is just what I am doing on this very fun and exciting evening. Being slightly sarcastic, but it's also kind of true. So I'm going to relax. Um, it's going to get close to bedtime here for me soon. And then I'm going to hit the hay and get ready for another day. So I'm probably cuddle with my kitties because who doesn't want to cuddle? So I'm going to go ahead here and uh, uh, finish this vlog slash day in my life slash my wild and crazy thoughts about teacher burnout and teaching. So with that being said, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you like my new content, please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below, but also give this video a thumbs up. Every way that you interact with my uh, channel helps me out, and I always appreciate it, everybody. Um, so that is all that I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next week with a new vlog, and yeah. Bye, guys.